Miami versus North Carolina. Chris, tell me a little bit about the Tar Heels. Woo! My Tar Heels, baby, freaking 5-0 and oh so far this season. Ultra high on them on the offseason. I know it doesn't matter to half the people on this channel. But, uh, you know, the only close game this year, Christian, was against mm -hmm. App State in Ooh. overtime. Believe it or not, um, I don't know what I don't know what to say about that. Whether it's good or bad, but App State plays people close. But I will say this, and I got to bring his name up for the hundredth time. He was my Heisman finalist this year, Drake May. Man, I'm telling you, this guy is elite. Um, I think he's the best quarterback in the country. I I'm taking him over Caleb Williams, and I can't believe I'm saying that. I think it's close. Don't get me wrong. Whoever's getting both these kids is obviously winning in the draft. But he's completing Christian over 73% of his passes. He's almost got 1,700 yards, eight touchdowns. Uh, he's got four picks, as you can see it there. Um, again, I keep saying this. You guys got to watch him play, though. I know they haven't played a ton of elite games so far this year, but he makes some NFL elite throws a couple times a game. It's awesome to watch, man. He's he's really good, especially if you study the quarterback position. Um, UNC, though, can run the ball pretty efficiently, efficiently as well. They've done a good job this year trying to keep it balanced. Um, Omeyer and Hampton obviously got 88 carries for 461 and seven TDs. So they're, they're, they're pretty much dual threat. Um, USC's defense. And this was the big question coming into the year for me. And I think Christian had the same thing. They were giving up like 33 points a game last year on a decent North Carolina team. This year, they've cut that almost in half. They're giving up 19.1 points per game so far. And I know they haven't played a ton of elite competition yet. But mm -hmm. man, that's that's huge for North Carolina. That's the reason why they're five and zero, and why they have a shot. I honestly think to to compete for an ACC title this year. So, um, here's the big thing in this game, and I, Chris is going to talk <laughs> about Miami, who's been the laughing stock on the internet the last four days. Can they keep Tyler Van Dyke contained and keep that Miami uh, run offense slow it down a little bit? I don't see in any way that Miami can contain, obviously. Drake May in the offense, but obviously UNC's defense is going to have to step up here. In my opinion, Christian, um, this one I'm going to kick it over to you about Miami. Mm. Thank you, Chris. Miami's coming off one of the most heartbreaking losses we might see this year against Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech they had the game won. All they had to do was just take a knee and instead decided to run the ball, fumbled it, and the rest is history. Now, Miami controls their own destiny, right? They just went out, and all is forgiven, right? And that's going to have to start this week against a very tough North Carolina team, right? The number 12 team in the country. Tyler Van Dyke, I mean, he's looked good, man. He's got 13 touchdowns, right? Total touchdowns and 1,300 yards. I mean, he's looked pretty good. Uh, rushing game looks good as well. They're putting up 211 yards a game, which is 13th in the country right now. You know, for me, UNC's defense is good. They're not elite, you know what I mean? They're good, but they're not elite. So how's that going to look against the top 10 offense, right? I mean, they have a top 10 offense, dude. Miami does. The defense of Miami, much better. They're ranked ninth in total defense right now. So that that's pretty good. I mean, UNC, they're going to come in, try to throw the ball against the Hurricanes, right? So can they step up and stop Drake May in, in this tough Tar Heel passing attack, Chris? I mean, that's the biggest question to me. Yeah. Let me let you go ahead and give the prediction here. <laughs> I like how you did that. Um, <laughs> I got kind of a crazy score here. I know this isn't going to be popular by most people's thoughts, but I got Miami at 27 points. Give me North mm -hmm. Carolina 40. I think North Carolina is going to roll offensively. I think Miami will put up some points. But in the end, man, give me Mac Brown and give me Drake May. You know, I like it, Chris. I'm going to take a very similar sentiment to you. Give me uh, North Carolina. Give me 31, Miami 38. Whoa! You, you call an upset here? Damn right I am. Let's fucking go.